What's up guys, LEGO PC back doing another video after Memorial Day weekend. I hope everybody had a great Memorial Day weekend. Um, what we got for you is episode 2 which is going to be um, a little bit of fun. We are going to talk about the Derringer clone and then we're going to do liquid reviews. Um, something I've been stacking up on for the last couple weeks, I haven't told you guys about it, is e-liquid. Um, so I've ordered a bunch of stuff from different vendors um, or I've gotten some discounts on certain stuff. I uh, just got... If you give a general idea of how much juice I have in my hand right now, um, there's that. And then we're going to be doing the review on this guy today. And then no more coming in. So uh, there's a lot of juice coming in. Um, but today's focus is going to be on the Derringer. And we are going to do dbliquids.com. So my plan is for the next couple episodes, I do have some reviews to get to. I know that. Um, but I wanted to do some cool juice reviews and what the why the way I want to do it personally is expensive to least expensive and What I did is I went to reddit and started picking up on users that sell their liquid for a really really good price So I picked up um, liquids was doing a really good 50% off grand opening sale um, On the website, so I ordered a ton of liquid, okay? Um, and then the next week I think it's normal juice was doing um, some stuff I ordered from them. Uh, I think it's Butters Juice, I believe. Sorry, not Narwhal, that's a flavor. Butters E Juice. Um, I've got some Blue Dot Vapor who were posting um, a couple weeks ago about giveaways. Uh, Clean Vape. Um, there's another one I can't remember offhand. So um, a lot of these juices are really, really cheap. And uh, what I wanted to do is basically go through them and see if you can get really good quality juice for a decent price and I will say I cheated I've done some of these juices already uh, matter of fact I'm not even gonna drip this one because I have it in a tank and I absolutely love this juice we'll, we'll get into it when we start doing the taste testing um, but this juice is my favorite juice of all time at the moment all right so when we jump into it, I don't have any beer to show you guys. I'm actually running to the beer store after this. Um, I got some iced tea. I was doing some lawn work and iced tea sounded really good, so I did an iced tea. So the Derringer clone is really, really cheap, and it's really, really simple. So this review is not going to really last very long. Um, it's got three simple pieces really cool I got it off of uh, Angel Six I believe for like nine bucks or ten bucks super cheap it was a little juicy there your airflow control ring okay real basic steel piece three air holes nothing special you've got your top cap where you got the airflow control because you're gonna see through it possibly yep uh, make that level okay there's your airflow. So this is dual coil only. You cannot have a single coil running in this. And then you've got your build deck right here. Okay. Let's see if we can get a zoom up of the build deck. Though you are going to see a lot of juice because I have a lot of residual stuff on there. Let's see if we can get a... Come on now. Focus camera. Focus. There we go. Okay, so basic three post design. Nothing super special here. It is your normal three post RDA. I've got two small two millimeter coils in there. Um, I'm not going to re wick it. I'm, I am going to re wick it. I'm not going to rebuild it. We are going to use this build right here to do our taste testings. Um, the reason I'm going to use the Derringer is when it comes to flavor, this has been one of my favorite. RDAs. This thing kills it in both flavor and vapor production. Um, I took this to Vape Bash and we had some fun in my car where we just blew as uh, many clouds as we could real quick and my buddy was freaking out because we had the car smoked out in like less than a minute. You couldn't even see anything. So. Um, and on top of that, you just get amazing flavor. So I used this to test a lot of flavors um, from different places when we were there. And uh, I really enjoyed it. It's just been a really good RDA. And on top of that, it's so tiny. Wait till I show you how tiny it looks on the Segeli 100 watt. It looks ridiculous. It's just, 
It's the tiniest thing and it looks just so funny on top of a big device. All right, so I got it wicked up. And then we'll talk about um, our juice here in a second if I can find my scissors. And my dog found somebody. Scissors, scissors, scissors. Scissors. Okay, well we're gonna have to modify this. All right, we're gonna use clippers. Let's see if I can cut cotton off that way. That's kind of working. It did work. It's not the cleanest cut in the world, but it worked. Okay. <laughs> uh, well then, you can tell I haven't done a build in a while because my scissors aren't around. I haven't even been in this room in a couple weeks here. Since my last review, probably. I really wanted to do some Pipeworks beer with you guys today. I'm actually going to run over there and hope my local beer shop has some. Um, Pipeworks is my favorite Chicago company, and they've got a bunch of new beers at a place in Tinley, not too far from me. And I really want to go pick some up ASAP on my day off here. Okay, so it's really ugly. Don't laugh, because we got cotton all over the place. But that's the best I could do without scissors. So, all I'm gonna do, and I'll zoom it up for you so you guys can see. Okay, all I'm gonna do is take the wicks and tuck them underneath the coils. Nothing different from any other RDA. I do have quite a bit of cotton in here. I hope this is not too much. Okay, so it's gonna look like that. Okay, and we're gonna unblock that coil real quick. That coil is a little blocked by cotton. There we go. And then do the same with the other side. Lift up and tuck under. Make sure the coil is not blocked underneath or in front. Make sure we get plenty of airflow. This actually might wick really well since I have some really loose cotton in here. All right, and that's it for the build. I mean, that's it's just your simple RDA. I mean, when it comes to RDAs, there's not a ton to go over when you got something basic like this. Um, this is just a basic Derringer. And it's, uh, I'll tell you what the ohms are in a second. I can't remember offhand. I think it's a 0.4 or a 0.5. I believe I've got 22 gauge in there or 24 gauge. I believe it's got to be 24 gauge. Yeah, it's 24 gauge. Okay, so that's the Derringer. It is one of my favorite RDAs ever. Um, once you build it, you just take the airflow control drop it over it sits right on a nice little o-ring not too tight not too loose there you go it's on don't need to worry about it it only goes on one way because there's a lip on the other side so that's how you know you've got it on the right side drop on your top cap snaps in with the o-ring boom airflow control twist it turn it wherever you need to do um, you will need to lube it up a little bit because when you turn it left what it'll do is just unscrew the device so you do need to watch out for that a little bit but we are going to run it on a about a two and a half to about yeah about two and a half airflow control setting um, so that way I can get the best flavor possible um, I do want to be able to pick up all the little flavors so before we start dripping anything here we're going to talk about DB liquids and if you haven't heard of them you can go to dbliquids.com I'm on their site right now we'll go through all the flavors uh, they do um, offer a lot of tea flavored liquids there are a lot of tea liquids um, but they've really branched out. They've got cereal, drink, fruit, mint, sweet, tea, tobacco. They call gems, warriors, and legacy liquid. There's also beta liquids as well. Uh, I used this one, um, this website, almost two years ago when I first started. Uh, they have a, I think it's mochaccino or something like that, I believe. 
um, I can't remember offhand, something mocha, and it was a peanut butter mocha, and it was my wife's favorite vape. It was the only flavor she would vape, and she absolutely loved it. So we did shop a lot off this website a long time ago. But as they transitioned into more of a tea flavor, I'm not really a tea flavor guy, so I kind of had disappeared, and now I've come back. Um, mods, they also carry the Duke, which is really famous for a long time. Um, it was a little, I believe it was a single 18650. I'm going to click on it and see if they've got a link here. The Duke currently sold out. They're hard to get a hold of. It's a dual 18650 aluminum box mod rated up to a maximum of 10 amps, 50 watts of power. It's the most por por powerful portable mod on the market. Whether or not that's true now at where we are at, I don't know. Uh, I do remember the Duke was super cool looking. It was black. I remember Grim Green had one. Um, awesome. But they're extremely hard to find. Uh, he made like, you know, 20 of them and then he stopped. So um, that's really all there is to it. It's really hard to find. Um, okay, so a variety of flavors and I'll go through. Um, the first one I'm going to do is before we even drip, I have to talk about this one because you just saw me vaping it and it was my, f it is by far the favorite e-juice I've ever tried in my entire life. Um, it is in my star tank right now which is a little dirty um, what's really cool about db liquids is they use really quality stuff i don't know if this is an all natural website but it doesn't gunk up my coils i can have this stuff running in my coil head for two weeks and still get phenomenal flavor um, it's just really really good Oh, this vape is just so good. So good. Um, this vape is called Sapphire. Okay. Let's look at their website for it. And which bottle is it? It's this one. It looks like a pinkish liquid. Uh, tan. Yeah, something like that. Uh, it is a 73rd blend. Okay. Let me see if you can change the... You can do a Max VG as well, okay? On their website, the Sapphire falls under the Gem e-liquids, and it's 1099 for a 15 mil. Your nicotine level can be from 0 to 36 milligram. Um, they have a 1.5 and 3 option as well. I have a 6 here, I believe. Yeah, 6. Um, there's also a thing called Flavor Recipe, and you can do original amped. I'm not 100% sure what the amped is. I've never tried it. I'm guessing that's Flavor Boosts. If I had to guess, none of these have any of the amped flavors, okay? The description juice reads, this gem won't leave you blue. Creamy custard with a blueberry this will lift your spirits. I've never had a blueberry vape, but I will tell you I'm just to try more because this stuff is awesome. Uh, packaging wise, it just has a sticker basically and a plastic cap. Uh, you do need to be careful to move these. So you loosen it up and slice this off because what will happen is if you don't, this dropper will go inside of there and it won't secure to the cap so something to keep in mind but that is sapphire that is some really good stuff so here's the profile that I get personally from it um, when I vape this stuff um, First off, let me say that I, my juice reviews may not be like anybody else's. Now, I follow Abby Vapes and Ruby Room and all them, and they all do a different thing. This is how I'm going to do mine. Usually, I'm going to have a beer that I'm going to tell you whether or not it pairs or not, but however, we don't have that today. Today, we have iced tea. And I like to think that I have a pretty decent palate, um, so I'm not going to be amazing at this, but I'm going to give you my take on it. Uh, the first time I hit this two days ago... Oh, mind you, these have all been pre-steeped. I have been steeping these for about two and a half weeks. I've been hiding these from you. Sorry, guys. Um, so these have been steeping for a while. The first time I hit this, I could tell it was some type of like a dessert flavor. I didn't have the description with me or anything like that. I just put it in there, and I wanted to vape it. So the first thing you get is the cream. And I want to say it's similar like a Nana cream where you get that real creamy, custardy flavor. But the best part is it changes its consistency as it goes out. So you get the inhale as a giant custard or a cream. And the exhale is like a fresh blueberry. I mean, I'm not a candy blueberry. I'm talking about fresh blueberry. And it is 
fantastic. And at first I couldn't pinpoint it. I could tell it was some type of a dessert. And it was almost like um, like a rhubarb, raspberry, like almost like a pie, but I didn't get any of the crust. And I was trying to figure out what it was. Like a cake almost. And it's just fantastic. It is so smooth. It has a nice throat hit on it. And the flavor is just fantastic. The blueberry just comes out on the exhale and it just sits there. It lingers on the tip of your tongue. And it's just fantastic. My wife was hitting this and trying to figure out what it was. And she's like, I don't know what this is, but it, I could basically eat it right now. And it <laughs> that's the best way I could put it. It tastes so good, I just want to eat this. It pairs with anything I've had so far. I had two beers yesterday, Sweetwater Blue, which is a blueberry wheat beer. Oh, it was so good. It was really, really, really good. Yeah, you just get that nice custard in the beginning and then a nice blueberry exhale. This one, I give a 10 out of 10. This is by far the my favorite juice I've ever had. I've run in a 3070. It wicks awesome on this, running at almost 60 watts. I'm running at 59 watts. It is fantastic. I love it. This is my favorite day. Favorite vape. Now, mind you, I haven't tried any of their other flavors yet. Oh, I did. We're going to do that one next. Um, but that's my favorite one so far. That's my favorite juice I've ever had ever, to be honest with you. All right, so the next one, and I have tried this one before, and I have mixed feelings on it. I'll take this cap off nicely. Is Kang's Strawberry Lemonade. It's also in a 3070. See if we can get a. I mean, it's it's very basic bottle, but I'd like to show you guys what it looks like. The yin yang is kind of their thing on their website, and uh, we don't want to focus in apparently, so that's fine. Whatever. All right, so let me find King Strawberry Lemonade real quick, and I'll read it off to you, description and everything. King's Strawberry Lemonade. Okay, so this one runs $9.99 a bottle, 15 mil bottle. You can get it in a 50-50 blend, 30-70 or a max VG. You can also add menthol cold or sweet to it, okay? The description reads, fresh strawberry balanced with the tart lemonade and slightly chilled. Sure to remind yourself of any, or sure to remind anyone of summer's past. So let me drip this on here real quick. And what I'm going to do, guys, is just drip enough to take a few hits, and then we're going to move on to the next juice. Dude, I don't want this video to run 40 minutes, so we're going to do this as quickly as possible. We'll get some juice to seep into that cotton. Up the. So this is a 0.4 ohm coil like I thought it was. We're going to vape it probably around 60 watts. Yeah. Get her nice and pissed off. All right, make sure everything's nice and saturated down there. We don't want any dry hits. These are freshly clean coils. Okay. And I will tell you, I already vaped this before, so I do have a general idea of what it's going to taste like, but I can describe it to you as I'm vaping it. Okay, so I think everything's pretty soaked in there. Let's drop on the airflow control. Okay, Kang Strawberry Lemonade. Probably should show you what this what the clouds look like on this device since you haven't seen it yet. That's with the airflow control and only two holes. It's, and the flavor is just so good. Alright, so I love King Strawberry Late a Strawberry Lemonade. Again, real strawberries, real lemonade. It's got that tartness aftertaste. It I mean it's spot on. Part where I don't like it because it doesn't become an all-day vape is it's chilled, chilled. It's menthol. So basically, there's a menthol aftertaste that sits in the back of your throat. Now, after running this all day, the menthol starts to wear it out on you a little bit. Um, it's something I couldn't use an all-day vape, but I will tell you, it is ref All right, sorry, excuse me for a second because I had to turn on that because it was getting really, really foggy in here. So now there's a nice little fan going. Um, hopefully, that will help out with all the clouds in here. Um, I'm actually going to do the sample pack yet now. I have not tried this one. They sent this to me, obviously, for free. Um, this is only 1.5 milligrams, so this will help out with uh, trying to chill me out. This is called Them Apples, so let's look that up real quick. 
I've never really had an Apple vape that I can think of offhand. Them apples. Ooh, it's a beta flavor. Very cool. All right. All right, them apples, a simple apple mint lovingly crafted to delight your palate. Okay, that's all the description says. Um, we will have to try that one out real quick. So this is a beta, so DB Liquids, if you end up watching this, this is my opinion on your beta. So make sure I've pretty much got dry cotton here. Yeah, we've got some dry cotton. So we're gonna probably take a few hits to make sure we've cleaned off the residue here. All these liquids are really light, which is real nice. Um, that usually means it's not going to destroy your coils. Okay. Ooh, that's interesting. It's interesting. You get that fresh green apple taste. And like a winter green. It's like a winter green taste afterwards. It's not like a mint. Eh, it could be like a mint almost like from Imagine a Mojito where you get that fresh mint. It's that. You get that in the aftertaste. That's... That's interesting. Um, I don't know if I could vape that all day. A lot of mints. A lot of mint in these flavors. Yeah, that's definitely it. Um, it's apple, a fresh green apple, not candy apple. Um, not Jolly Rancher apple. Uh, it's more of a fresh apple. Um, I would say, yeah, pretty close to a fresh apple. And then you get that mint exhale. Um, and it's fresh mint, uh, basically like off a mojito or something like that. Um, you know, you, you pound the mint into your drink. Um, that's probably the best way to describe, describe it. Yeah, it's real fresh. It's not like the raspberry lemonade mint where it's like a menthol. This is a mint mint. This is um, wintergreen mint. This is like gum mint. Um, I don't know how to describe it other than just saying mint. I like it. I think it's I think it's really good. I'd give that an eight out of ten. Um, it seems to be burning really well too. Burn off some of that off. Um, really good, good flavor. It's nice and clean. It's clear. Uh, it's not gonna gunk up any of your coils. Um, I would vape that. That's a really good, really good vape. It's it's spot on in the description. I'd say it's green apple with um, some mojito mint afterwards. Uh, really relaxing, chilling. Um, this is like when you buy those wheat beers, and that's what you drink during the summer. It's just <sighs> relaxing mint vape. It's really good. I like it. DB Liquids keep making that one. That one's a good one. I'd buy that. All right, so here's the one I really wanted to try. This is called Jackie Tar, and it's got a pirate ship on the front. It looks pretty cool. And this is going to be Max VG. This is a Max VG liquid. Um, I believe this is one of their specialty collections. Um, it is under Warriors, I think. Let's take a look. Jackie Tar, there you are. These are $15.99, and they usually come in a glass bottle. They are Max VG. Uh, that is for 30 mils, not for 15. Um, Pirate Queen Terror of the High Seas Jackie Tar is a smooth apple pie chai and some supporting sweet creamy notes. It has very good reviews. Uh, three reviews, all five stars. So um, I'm really pumped to try this one. Again, another apple flavor, so I think it will come through really good. Um, hopefully we can burn most of that mint off real quick. Oh, see, this is what just happened. I almost just spilled liquid everywhere. I pushed down too hard when I took this guy off. So you just want to loosen it and then lightly take off the cap. Oh, nope, it's still in there. Come on now. Come on now. Might have to use pliers pulled out real quick. 
Yeah. Let's see if we can get players. There we go. So that's something to notice. Uh, DB Liquids, if you're watching this again, probably should work on those caps. Uh, that's the first time that's ever happened to me. I know uh, one of my new liquids said it in a uh, little piece of paper, said be careful. We've noticed the pushers do come off sometimes. Um, so I've had an issue with that a couple times, and there was a perfect example. So you can get the chai right off of it. Um, I do like chai. I have chai in my Keurig right now. Uh, I do like chai tea. Really good stuff. Let's get this really wet. All right, we drowned it. We fucking drowned that shit. All right, let's see. So Jackie Tar from DB Liquids. Let's take it for a vape. It's really interesting. I don't really get the apple. Maybe an apple cinnamon. Maybe that's what that is. Uh, chai already has a cinnamon taste, at least to me it does. Um, so I do get the cinnamon. It's like an apple cinnamon. Uh, there's a creamy exhale. It's not a cream inhale. It's definitely the apple cinnamonish chai cinnamon flavor on the inhale. Exhale is definitely cream. Um, one more time. I'm going to drop the waters a little bit because nicotine is burning me out here. Yeah, definitely, um, definitely a, like a cinnamon chai. A little bit of an apple. I'm not getting, it says apple pie. I'm not getting the crust, but I'm definitely getting like an apple cinnamon, uh, like a Granny Smith apple cinnamon flavor, and then a chai exhale, a uh, cream exhale. Really good. Um, this is definitely not a cold vape. This is definitely more of your normal warm, nice warm vape. It's good. I, I would vape that. Um, I'd give that a 7 out of 10. I think that's really good. Um, I don't think I would make this an all day vape personally. It's good. I like it a lot. Um, that is really good stuff, Jackie Tar. I'd say a seven, seven and a half out of ten. Um, really good stuff. Glass bottle might be even nicer. I personally don't do glass bottles. I like it to be in a little cap like this and just drip it into my tank or whatever. I'm looking forward to vaping this. This is really good stuff. I like it. So that's Jackie Tar. All right. Refreshing. It is very refreshing. You want to hit this a couple times, clean out your palate. Really, really good. The first intake is nothing but strawberries and even a little bit on the aftertaste, but you get that tartness. And it seems like anything with lemonade is just a really good vape. It just, it's just delicious. I don't know why. But it is. It's just really good. I've had a couple lemonade vapes and they've all been really, really good. But they've got theirs on par. I mean, it it is fresh strawberries with a little bit of lemonade aftertaste. I would say it doesn't taste like the artificial drink. It tastes like strawberries and then lemonade. It's not maybe together as much as you would imagine. It doesn't taste like drinking strawberry lemonade. It's good. It's really good. Um, I give this one an eight out of ten. I would suggest, unless you really, really like menthol, not to put the menthol on because it's already menthol enough. Um, whew. Mind you, when you burn fresh cotton, it usually it's quite a bit stronger. And I'm running six milligrams, so I'm getting a nice little nicotine buzz here. I probably should have had these in three. Really, really good flavor though. Really, really good flavor. Um, eight out of 10 on that one. Again, really solid stuff. Presentation is nothing special. Um, it's nice, it's nothing fantastic. Uh, I wanna set that away so I don't get confused on which one's next. Okay, put that up there. All right. 
All right, uh, so we're back. Uh, real quick, sorry, I had to go get something to drink. My tea was all empty. Uh, so the last one we're gonna do, um, I really focused on getting their really high popular juices. Um, they have like over 60 liquids. I couldn't buy them all. Um, so the next one I did, and last one, uh, is another highly rated juice. I do like the cereal juices, and this one is called Planet Cracker. See if I can get that to focus. Let's try it. There we go. Planet Cracker. And you can see it's like a, a Fruit Loop. Um, Fruit Loop looking vape there. Um, Planet Cracker. Here we go. Planet Cracker. A delicious treat brought to you by your friendly childhood toucan. So good it'll crack the earth right beneath your feet. All right, this is $9.99 for a 15 mil. Can come in multiple 50, 50, 30, 70, and max VG. Can also add menthol, cold, and sweet, and also up the flavor recipe if you want. Also has a five star review. Best cereal vape I've ever tried. That's saying a lot. So, we've cleaned off the cotton. I'm gonna drip this on there. Okay, I'm going to put that up there. All right, Derringer, one more go. All right, so this is Planet Cracker from DB Liquids. <laughs> it's pretty damn spot on. I, I <laughs> it is what it says it is. I can literally taste like the crunchiness in the milk of biting into a Fruit Loop. That is spot on right there. That is <laughs> that is good. I do like cereal vapes, and that might be one of my favorites. I'm still lingering it. It's on the tip of my tongue. That's way better as a lung hit. I just did a mouth hit there with, out to the nose. It's not as good. Allergies. <coughs> Six milligram. Woo. I would say that's pretty damn spot on. That is spot on to Fruit Loops. Um, there's not much more I can say about that. That is really, really good. Uh, you get the red loop, you get the green loop, you get it all in there. And it's um, it's very similar to like a Fruity Pebbles where when you hit a Fruity Pebble juice, a good Fruity Pebble juice, um, here you go. Uh, Telios, um, the milk is really good. Um, there's another really good Fruity Pebble juice and it's one of my favorites. I've been, this Narwhal candy, oh, really good stuff, really good stuff. We'll get into that in another review. Um, but good fruity pebble juices are good because you get all types of fruit notes you'll get the lime you'll get the cherry you'll get um excuse me you'll get all different types of lemon in there it's just really really good if you're looking for a fruit loop or a cereal vape i give that a 9 out of 10 that is really really good that is spot on um, i don't think the exhale uh, inhale is good as the exhale the exhale is when you hit all those notes and i think that's why it gives you a 9 instead of a 10. it is really really good i <laughs> This is just, this is really good stuff. I'm impressed with how, how spot on it is. You know, it's mostly, in, it's really the aftertaste. It's the aftertaste that's so good. The aftertaste is, it's, it's lingering right now and it's so good. It's just spot on. I really, really enjoy that one. That one is really good. All right, so that's Planet Cracker from DB Liquids. So overall, um, they are a little pricier. You're looking at about nine nine dollars for a 15 mil. Um, not super cheap. Uh, let's see, what does that round out down to? And obviously, it gets cheaper as the more you buy. Let's see, you can buy more, and yep, it drops the price. Um, let's say ten dollars because you got to include shipping. Um, you know, you're almost paying a. You're getting a one and a half mils for a buck. 
it isn't cheap okay so uh, it is a little bit pricier on that side uh, but I would say the quality of the juice is very very good I would say that is worth uh, a buy there if you're looking for a really good quality juice and you've never heard of DB liquids I think you should really check them out they're really good stuff uh, it ends up being 60 cents about 65 cents for a mil uh, for about a milliliter so it's not cheap guys it's it's not uh, especially when I'm looking at some of these other brands where I, I think I paid 2.99 for a 10 mil um, it is on the pricier side I say it's right up there with Bombies and stuff like that Bombies might be even a little cheaper however I'd say the quality of the juice is really really good um, DB liquids is something I've been doing for a long time they've been in business a really long time and they make some of the best mods uh, so they're really good stuff um, so that's what I got review wise for DB liquids I'd say they're fantastic that's my opinion I think they're really good um, if you want to check them out you can go to dbliquids.com I'll put a description I'm sorry a link underneath the video um, what we got going next is uh, I might do it an actual review review before the next juice but the next juice will be um, Butters E-Juice, and I've got tons of it here. Uh, we'll be going through a bunch of their flavors, their popular flavors. Um, I've spoke to the reps a couple times, really nice guy. He's helped me out, and they actually hooked up a bit um, with a lot of the stuff. So you'll see that review coming soon. Um, let's see, I wanna make sure I give shout outs where credit is due here. What's just the K, is it Kyle? Is it Keith? I wanna say it's Kyle. Kyle sounds right. Um, but if we don't do this juice next, guys, you'll be to review. Probably. I'd love to do a little V2 review. Um, could be a Zephyrus review. Could be a Star review. Um, I haven't. It's Kyle. So, from Butters E. Whether or not he's the owner or not, he's been the rep I've been talking to. Um, so, thank you all for all the help. I appreciate it. Um, the Nar Andy Dickman. Uh, I really appreciate it. I ordered all those in three so we could do a nice good sample. And uh, wait on that. That's all I got for you guys now. Um, this weekend I'll get another review out. I know uh, Memorial Day kind of delayed everything. But um, this is Lego PC. I'll talk to you soon.